Good morning guys, it is 8.30 and we're just headed to our um, doctor's appointment for my 38 week checkup. It is Vlogmas day five already. I woke up at 4.15. For some reason, the baby always decides that I need to go to the bathroom right around 4, 4.30. Most days I'm able to fall back asleep, but since uh, since yesterday, I haven't been able to. So it happened to me yesterday and it's happened to me today. So I just got out of bed and I edited Vlogmas day four. So it's already up. It's like raining out here. It's crazy. It's like December. And it doesn't feel like winter at all, which is nuts. Like it's the it's the mildest winter I've experienced in a while. Hina is going into work a little later today so she can take me to my doctor's appointment. I usually just take transit, but since I'm so far along, um, I don't feel comfortable going to the doctor by myself anymore. I'm paranoid like that. Like, like you're gonna fall down the stairs yeah or... i think like i'm gonna fall down the stairs or i think my water is gonna break on the train or some weird stuff like you never know you know what i mean and by the way the red light on my face are the brake lights from the people sitting in front in of traffic. us because we're sitting in traffic there goes. so yeah <laughs> dropped me home and headed off to work. I wanted to check in and let you guys know what happened. I was the first one there, so I got to see my nurse and my doctor right away. They checked baby's heartbeat, everything's great, asked me about symptoms and all that stuff. I had to wait for my doctor after seeing the nurse uh, so that she could check me to see if I was dilated at all. And she also recommended doing a stretch and sweep. She said it would be uncomfortable. I was prepared for uncomfortable. I wasn't prepared for painful. Um, so it hurt really bad. Turns out I am not dilated at all. My cervix is still sitting pretty high. Nothing's happening. So at this point, we're just gonna have to wait it out and see what happens. He just doesn't seem like he wants to come out before the due date. So today I'm just gonna chill at home. We ordered groceries, so that should be coming sometime between two and four. That's probably when I'll pick up the camera next, around two o'clock. So I'll see you guys later. Groceries are here. Got some fresh meals in minutes. We got fish one, ginger chicken, sesame beef strips, udon noodles so we can make teriyaki. So we have Thai sweet chili sauce, had Thai. She loves these pepperettes. She also loves to have a salami with cheese, some sour cream, some eggnog, eggs, and apples, and clementines. So I'm going to put all this grocery away and then uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. I think I'm going to do um, baked chicken and baked potatoes for dinner. I feel like we haven't cooked dinner in a while. We've been eating out a lot. Oh, that potato doesn't feel good. Oh, these are no good. I ate like four of these. They're so good. This is number five, by the way. Did I tell you you can sit up there? Mister? I'm gonna go ahead and get started on dinner. We're gonna do some baked chicken with rice and vegetables tonight.
production recipe that I want to try. My sister-in-law told it to me. She said warm milk and butter. It sounds gross, but I have done the keto diet and we used to do the bullet coffee and we used to put butter in it and it tasted really good. I'm gonna give it a try tonight. And I also read up on it too, just to make sure. It's milk and it's butter, it's cream, it's just a lot of cream. So here's dinner. It's nothing fancy and it's nothing exciting, but I hope it tastes good. Mmm, that's actually pretty good. So I'm drinking the milk and butter. Um, I just warmed up the milk and I blended everything together so you're not really like drinking butter or anything like that. You're just drinking a really creamy beverage. Um, it helps to put a little bit of sweetener in it, so honey or a little bit of sugar. And I also put cinnamon in mine as well too. And it actually tastes pretty good. I couldn't find my keys this morning so I ended up taking Hina's um, fob to get back into the condo. And uh, now she's here, so I have to go downstairs and let her in. Look who's home. Hi, hon. Hi. How was your day today? Amazing. Yeah? Yeah. I've never heard you say that about work before. Yep. <laughs> so it felt like a really weird day, but um, it's 10 o'clock. And I'm gonna go to bed. And so that's it for Vlogmas Day 5. I will see you tomorrow on Wednesday for Vlogmas Day 6. Tomorrow we are expecting our couch. I'm expecting my vitamin water. And I also bought a really, really large water bottle. Um, so I'm expecting that too. And also my friend Nira from work, she's going to come over for lunch because my workplace is actually a 10 minute walk from where I live. Lots of things happening tomorrow. And uh baby and I here are just gonna take a rest and uh, lie down I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far um, I, I don't know I just I always worry that I'm not putting out good enough content for you but at the same time like everything you see is 100% real this is how I am this is how he and I are as a couple and um, we want to keep that authenticity for you so sometimes our vlogs might be boring because we don't have we don't lead very exciting lives. Hina works and I'm home right now on maternity leave. So I really hope you guys are liking the vlogs and um, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.